They're not public servants. They're thugs. For the first time, a man whose arrest at a trolley station prompted questions of excessive force is sharing his story. This comes as MTS releases new video showing why the force was necessary. Team 10 investigator Michael Chin is near City College with a piece of evidence Christian Thompson says proves trolley officers are lying. He says he was figuring out his trolley trip, about to meet up with friends, when suddenly his birthday night turned into a nightmare. Bruises on Christian Thompson's arms and marks on his wrist are reminders of a Saturday incident caught on cell phone video. Hours after his release from custody, we showed him the video. When I see the video, I feel outraged. The video, shot by a City College student, shows Thompson with a notepad trying to get an MTS officer's badge number when suddenly the officers take him down. I was completely taken aback. They have a confrontational attitude. I think that they're a little bit of a bully. Thompson says that night he had had one drink and was preparing to transfer lines when the MTS officers approached him. MTS says their officers' actions were justified. The agency released to us video of the entire incident, including video taken half an hour before the takedown, showing Thompson's pit bull moving toward an officer. The officers say they were concerned for public safety and asked him to leave, but he refused, so they restrained him. My, my dog does not lunge at anybody. Thompson says his dog's movement was curiosity, not aggression. Surveillance video shows the dog appeared calm throughout the incident. Thompson, an Iraq War veteran, says he showed the officers paperwork the dog was a registered therapy dog. MTS also tells us Thompson did not have a paid fare, but Thompson calls that a lie. It was loaded as of August 26th. In front of our cameras, he swiped his month-long MTS pass, expiring in two weeks. A pass he says MTS gave back to him when he was released from custody. On Tuesday, Thompson pleaded not guilty to several charges, including disorderly conduct. He now plans to file a civil suit. He believes the officers got agitated because he had an answer for all their concerns. They're not public servants. They're thugs. Michael Chen, 10 News. Thompson's dog is being held by Animal Services. He plans to get his dog as soon as he's allowed to. That's after a 10-day holding period. MTS says Thompson was also cited for smoking, which is not allowed at the station.